Hello everybody, this is Javi the Gamer here with my first episode of my FIFA 23 career mode. Traditionally, I like to start off in League 2 and do a road to glory up to the Premier League and hopefully win the Champions League. This year, I chose Doncaster Rovers. I know they had just gotten relegated from League 1 to League 2. And I like the uniforms, I like the logo. They had a decent squad too. So that's why I chose Doncaster. And as you can see in the standings here, we have two games in hand against Crawley Town, who are sitting on 82 points. And we have two more matches to play. So I figured that I would play the highlights. I will show you guys the highlights of the season and then move into playing the two games live. So without further ado, here are the highlights. All right, moving into the first game of these highlights here, we have Mansfield. George Miller threw on goal here. His touch takes him a lot wide, but passes back into Barlow, who scores the opening goal. However, Mansfield would get a goal back. This is just terrible defense from us. They just cut right through us. We should have closed down on the number nine there, but we didn't, and this is just even more terrible defense. Noel loses the ball there. Oates plays the ball in, and we just... Don't mark up the number nine again, and he gets a race, and Mansfield get the win. Next game, we have Stockport. Thundering header from Charlie Webster. Ball's bouncing around the box. That was the only goal, and he gives us three points. Moving on, we have Colchester next. Just more defensive shortcomings. Lovely shot from the striker there, and Colchester take home the dub. Charlie Webster's through one goal here against Barrow. He spins, he turns, his low shot is driven into the ground, and he gives us the win, 1-0. Next game, we have Newport. Barlow's shot gets past the keeper, and we take home three points against Newport. Next, we have Walsall. They strike first. Jonathan Mitchell can't keep it out, and we would go on to get a draw, I believe. Josh Andrews, thundering header into the from the corner kick into the back of the net he secures a point george miller threw on goal just runs into the box his strike gets past the keeper and we take the lead one nil over crew alexandra evan ferguson fantastic out of the box shot he secures the win over crew alexandra and we take on the dub fantastic cross in george miller's thundering header into the top of the net Secures a win over Hartlepool. Next game against Carlisle. George Miller takes a touch. Fantastic volley into the back of the net versus Carlisle. However, Carl Carlisle will get a goal back. Just, we just can't get the ball clear. And fantastic shot from their 14. There's nothing the keeper can do about it. They would Carlisle would eventually get the winner. Just, I've had struggle defending this, this FIFA. I don't know what it is, but... We lose Richard Carlisle. This is a little bit weird. Josh Andrew clearly scores, but I don't know why it just stops there. But we take home the win. And those are the end of the highlights. All right, for the Papa John's final, this is our starting 11. We have Mitchell, Noel, Williams, Anderson, Younger, Rowe, Close, Savage, Hutchinson, Miller, and Ferguson. Rowe and Noel make up the fullbacks. Younger, Anderson, Williams make up the center backs. Savage, Close, and Hutchinson are the midfield. Ferguson and Miller are the two strikers up top. As for Cheltenham Town, they are in League 1, so they are a league above us. But I went into this game thinking that we could hang with them. So Cheltenham Town, starting 11, Southwood, Jackson, Taylor, Long, Raglan, Williams, Bonds, Sircombe, Broom, Norton, and May. They're going with the 5-3-2 as well. Williams and Jackson, the fullbacks, Raglan, Long, Taylor, back three, Broom, Sircombe, Bonds, midfield. May and Norton, the two strikers up top. Chelsea Town have a early chance early on. Their corner is initially cleared, but it falls to Bonds, and they just pass it around for a little bit, looking to get some service in. But good tackle here from I think that was Savage, and now we are on the break here. Evan Ferguson playing in Omari Hutchinson. His cross in tries to find Miller, but. Miller didn't get the power he wanted on it, so 
20th minute, we have another good chance here with Ben Close running through on goal. However, good save from the keeper and Cheltenham clear their lines. We do earn a free kick there. From that free kick, though, nothing really happens as Roshan Williams just decides to lose the ball there. So, Cheltenham Town, very dangerous there. If he had gotten possession of that, that would have been a chance on goal, but Mitchell collects, and we have a chance to make a break now, counterattack. Ferguson playing through to playing it over to Close. Close has another good shot here, but Keeper is equal to it and pairs it over for the corner kick. From the corner kick, we don't really get anything. We don't get any good service, but we play it back in, and Ferguson just tries to get a shot off, but Cheltenham surround him and take the ball away. Good win here right before halftime. Hutchison plays it over to close. Ferguson tries to get a shot off, but Miller manages to get a shot off, but it's off target, and we can't get anything going. However, well into stoppage time, Cheltenham break forward, hits the post, but very lucky rebound for their number 10, and they score right, literally right on the brink of halftime. So we go into the half, 1-0 down. We start off with the ball, just good passing play, but stupid challenge from Charlie Savage there. He gets a red card, he's sent off, and we are down to 10 men for the rest of the game. Cheltenham with another good chance here. They just play it up to the to their right hand side, sends it across. We can see the corner, and from the corner kick, we manage to clear it, but we just can't clear it far enough. It lands the bonds. They play it around. Good shot from Cheltenham, but Mitchell collects. Very good opportunity to get a shot on goal here, and Andrews really should be doing better there. But we earn the corner kick here. From the corner kick, we can't get. We can't find heads there, and Cheltenham clear their lines. Now, 90th minute, I was just pushing men forward. We needed to get a goal, and fortunately, they backfired. They score late on, and they go on to win the Papa John's Trophy. Like I said, they were a league above us, so I wasn't too upset. I mean, we were playing with 10 men for the whole second half, so really nothing you can do about it but next year hopefully we can get something going all right now that the highlights are done we can go into the final two matches of the season starting off i gone with the 3-1-3-1-2 i found myself to be conceding a lot of goals and doing a little bit of experimenting between the five in the back and the three in the back with the low wingers so i think today i'm gonna be using this here so strikers we have Ferguson Miller center attacking mid we have Hutchinson center mid we have close and the center defensive mid we have Savage left winger we have Barlow right winger we have Molyneux center backs we have Olwolu Anderson and Williams and Jonathan Mitchell in goal these are the subs I've gone with Griffiths Richard Taylor Hodge Webster Adam Marola and Rowe so we go into the game now. I think Colchester are sitting like 17th or something. So realistically, we should be getting all three points here. But you just never know with FIFA 23. So hopefully we can get the three points and keep the title alive. Because if we come out out of, the, out of this game with anything less than a win, then the title's gone. So... We need a win here, and the final game is against Grimsby. They're sitting all the way down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, they're, Grimsby are 24th, and Colchester are 17th. So re realistically, we, we should be getting six points out of this, and we should be winning the league title, but we have to take it one game at a time. We have to focus on Colchester here. They're not going to be a pushover, so we have to keep our mind of the game. I do like in FIFA 23 you can get uh, you can choose a, a real manager. I, f I think that was a really cool feature that they implemented. So I didn't want to just make a random manager, so I I chose uh, Stanislav Cherosov. So 
I didn't really want to take anybody from the Premier League or any other league, so he was from the rest of the world section, so I figured that that is who I would choose. So I'll skip the rest of that and move into the game here. So far, I like this this uh, FIFA 23 so far. I mean, it's I, I think it's a it's been an improvement from from FIFA 22. Oh, George Miller, oh, has his shot blocked. Yeah, I think it's been an improvement from FIFA 22. I know that PC now has it's not like classified as like next gen, so FIFA 23 has the next gen features, which I I liked, and kind of sucked that FIFA 22 didn't have that privilege, but it's all right because I think the gameplay here feels a lot more realistic as well. Corner in, can't find a head. Oh my god, it's gone in. It has gone in. I don't even know how that's gone in. Oh my lord. Doncaster Rovers here. Take the lead over Colchester. I don't even I didn't even think Ben Close got something on it. I thought the keeper had say that. Maybe the keeper made a mistake or something. Good cross in from Roshan Williams. Ben Close is calling for it. Nope. Ben Close somehow got his foot on it. Wow. Let's go. Crucial. Yeah, Ben Close just manages to get his foot on it. Keeper just dives. Let's go. That's what we needed. That is what we needed. Yeah, goes down as a goal for Ben Close. Let's go. Center midfielder coming in clutch. We take the lead versus Colchester. Arlo's down on the wing. See if we can get cross in. Can't find Ferguson. Ooh, good shot from George Miller. See if we can get something going here. Arlo running down the wing. Playing it over to Ferguson. Ferguson can hit him. Oh. Wasn't too far off, I don't think. Oh, just didn't have enough curl on it. Ooh, barely missing. Good shot. Testing the keeper. We're still up here. 1 0 against Colchester. Oh, Ferguson through. He just completely scuffs that. I don't like the power shots. I don't know if I'm just not used to playing with it, but. I tried to do the low shot there, trying to find the bottom corner, but but because you do the low shot there, the power shot thing comes up, and it just takes too much time, I think. I don't know. I, maybe if I get used to it or something, but so far I am not. That's the one thing I really don't like about FIFA 23 is a power shot. I mean, hopefully as I play, I'll get like used to it or something, but Fer uh, Ferguson tries to play in George Miller, but yeah, that's, that's probably the one thing that I don't really like about FIFA 23. Everything else, like I think it's been an improvement from from FIFA 22. So, and that is halftime. We are winning here, one nil against Colchester. Hopefully, we can keep this up in the second half. I don't think Colchester has had a shot on goal, so if we can keep that, Jonathan Mitchell can keep the clean sheet. And that would be fantastic for us. So. Tammy Rovers, Hell for City, 0 0 at, in the half. Take a look at the stats real quick. Shooting. Yeah, they have had zero shots on goal. Zero shots at all, so. That is good for us. We are in complete control of this game, which is what we want to see. We don't want to be playing down to that level. We can play a much higher level, level of football. And that was one of the issues, I think, that happened throughout the season. We were just. Coming from League League One, it's a different quality of football. I think we just played down to a lot of George Miller through. George Miller, his shot blocked by the keeper, he concedes the corner kick. Yeah, we a lot of games I felt that we were just playing down to other teams' level, not playing at the level that we should be. George Miller, his header finds the back of the net. What a header from the corner. He out jumps the defense. 
He nods it down. It's bouncing around. Keeper can't keep it out. Fantastic header from George Miller. We are up here 2 0 versus Colchester. Fantastic header. Good cross in from Barlow. George Miller just out jumps. Keeper should be saving that, but we will take that. Keeper, I wouldn't say it's a howler, but I think Keeper should definitely be saving that. Oh, oh he got even got hands to it, so. Colchester fans fans are not going to be happy with the keeper today. Ben Close scoring off of what the keeper should have collected. George Miller's header should have been kept out, but shoulda, woulda, coulda. We are going to take that every day of the week. Good stop from Jonathan Mitchell. That's Colchester's first shot on goal. Oh, horrible mistake from Tom Anderson. Mitchell's got to come out. Good stop from Mitchell. Mauling you running down on the wing here. Ferguson just can't get his head to it. Oh, he's offside. Got bailed out there. They had plenty of men on attack. I am going to make some substitutions. Hutchinson is pretty tired, so. Bring on Webster. Uh, I'll bring on Griffiths for Ferguson. Wingers. Richards. Yeah, I'll bring on low row for Savage. And bring on Taylor for Molyneux. Actually. Take a look at the stats. Yeah. I do like that FIFA twenty three has five substitutes and get a lot more rotation with the players so that was something that I do like and Taylor immediately gives up the ball reception or tackle from Owolu uh, he's offside again stupid pass from Webster there Colchester starting to get increasingly dangerous which is not what we want to see we want to see this game out Good tackle from Roshan Williams. Back to the keeper. One thing I will say about this Doncaster Rovers team is I brought in a lot of lone players. I think I brought in like five. Charlie Webster is one of them. Rika Richards is another one. Charlie Webster. Speaking of Charlie Webster, his pass there was just... I don't even know where he's trying to go with that, but... Charlie Webster, Joe Hodge from Wolves was another one. Oh, Colchester just threw him on goal here. Good block. We give up the corner kick though. 87th minute. Still have time to do something here. We gotta clear this corner and keepers come off for this. Wow. Good clearance. Shot. That's going in. That's going in. That's going in. That's going in. George Miller, let's go. Let's go. Fantastic. George Miller gets a brace. Oh my god, that was that was something. I thought the Q was gonna get to that. Great shot from George Miller. He can he gets a brace. Doncaster Rovers here. Fantastic 3 0 win. Keeper came up, it backfired for them. George Miller shot. Oh my. Fuse is a little bit faster. He would have gotten it. That should seal up the game though. Doncaster. Ah, oh, that's going down as an own goal? No. It can't be. That was going in before he even touched it. Oh, come on, man. That's got to be George Miller's. That's, that's dumb. That shouldn't be going down his own goal. That was clearly going in before he even touched the ball. <sighs> what? Doncaster Rovers get dominating 3-0 win here. So we can move on to Grinsby. And hopefully we can get a win there to win the title. Alright, with that we can take a look at the standings here. Yep, we have 80 points. One game in hand. Versus Grinsby, they're bottom of the league. They're getting relegated out to the National League, which of course is in FIFA 23. But 
We need to win here, otherwise we lose out on the title. Promotion's already secured. So, really now it's just a matter of if, we, if we're going to win the title. I think we should be. We definitely have the capability and the quality to win. Like I said, Grimsby on 46 points. They're dead last. They're not going anywhere any, anytime soon, so... Alright, you're against Grimsby Town. Grimsby sit bottom of the league, so realistically we should be getting the three points here. Anything else, and we lose out on the title. And with the quality of the team that we have, I really think that we can get a win here, so... I mean, like I already said, promotion's already secure. It's just a matter of playing if, playing for the title, so... I know we can win the title definitely have the quality of the team to do it so we'll go through the starting lineups here in just a minute and get on our way for the next game. Grinsby Town starting 11. Crombe in goal, Pabon, Pearson, Maher, Glennon, Morris. Glennon, Maher, Pearson, Pabon, backline, Morris, McCatty, Green, midfield, Kohori, Richardson, and McGuire, Drew, front three. They've gone with a 4-3-3. I've gone with a 3-1-3-1-2. So, we'll see how that works out. Worked out well against Colchester. Ran in three goals, so. It goes through substitutes. Griffiths, Richard, Taylor, Hodge, Webster, Adam Mola, and Rowe. Yeah, 3-1-3-1-2. So. Alright, let's get this game underway. That's gotta be a foul. Oh, early yellow card for John McAtee. Maybe down them numbers here. Get the ball, Williams. Win that. Charlie, you gotta win that. Good win. Ambitious ball from, I don't know who that was, maybe close. Oh, we get it. Oh, Hutchinson's shot. Couldn't get it on target, but good initial win. That's what we like to see. We like to see that energy. Oh my god, Hutchinson's shot hits the bar. Nobody marked him up, so I was like, have a go, son. You have a chance to hit on the counterattack. Hodgson's through. Ah, the shot. He's going to get the shot away. It took too long on the ball. Good tackle. Now we have a chance here. Send him through. George Miller. I don't know why I'm just playing around too much. 45 minutes already gone. <sighs> Half time here. We need to go. But we, I mean, this is a decent play. Hutchinson had his shot. Ricochet off the post. Couldn't find collected rebound, but. Half time. Not going to make any substitutions. We've been playing well here. Decently well. We've. Held off their attacks for the moment, but you can just feel that a goal is coming. Hopefully it's for us. It should be for us. We are a lot better than them. We have the quality to be winning this game. It's a little concerning that we haven't scored yet, so. Ferguson's ball. Finds Miller. Just can't. He just runs right into the defense. Hutchison, good interception, though. Fergit Miller, what are you doing? Just get fucking ball out. Come on. Why are you holding on to it for so long? I'm pressing A to pass it out to the wing. He's just holding on to the ball for no reason. He's trying to play hero ball or something. He's coming off. He's... No, you're done. You're done, buddy. You are done, son. 
bring on Webster for Hutchinson. Bring on Richards for I think it was Taylor. We need we need a goal. We are dicking around too much. We just like that. What are you doing? Why are you playing it to a man that has somebody on him? Webster was per in the position. He's open, and you just decide to pass it to the guy that's covered by the defense. I'm going to have to change the tactics up. We are just not playing the way we should. We have a little over 15 minutes to play. Yeah, pressure on heavy touch. Here we go, here we go. Mala news through. Oh, come on, Richards. Gotta be smart to pass. Five minutes left. Oh, here we go. This is probably the last. Oh, my God, Griffiths. Just playing pinball ball. It's just stupid. And they go and score. <sighs> like shitty teams, you get shitty football. That's what it is. I mean, we just play down to the level. We. I just don't understand. I don't understand how we can beat Colchester 3 0 and then go and play Grimsby Town at the bottom of the league and just concede a goal. Stupid football. Just like that. We lose out on the league title. Sitting on 80 points. We, didn't, we don't even deserve the title after a performance like that. I just don't understand. I don't understand how we can beat Colchester 3 0 one day and. We lose the Grimsby Town. We're at the bottom of the league. I just don't understand. This is like two. I didn't even change the team up. It's two different. It's just two different teams. I didn't even change the team, but clearly it's just something different. I don't understand. I don't understand how we lost that game. Shouldn't have lost. But Grimsby, they score late on, and they score late on. We should have scored, but nobody wanted to play football, so. And as a result, consequences, we don't win another league title. So, still though, I mean, it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, we still finish second on 80 points. So, we get promoted to League Two next year. But it's just a sour feeling not winning on the league title, even though we should have. We just played down to the level, let them dictate the game. So. But with that, I'll run through the squad uh, and how we did in the cups and such so as, as you already know we finished second on 80 points Emirates FA Cup we I think we made it to um, four three yeah around three uh, yeah we made it to round three initial tie in the first round Went to the replay and Portsmouth won four to three. So Carabao Cup, I know we had an early exit, I think. Around four, it's not that early, but lose three to two against Coventry City. Papa John's trophy. We made it all the way to the final, as you saw in the in the highlights, and we just lose two to zero. We just don't show up when we need to show up. So that's just how it is to see who played in the promotion playoffs. So it's going to be Northampton versus Tranmere, Bradford City versus Manfield. So we don't have to worry about any of that. We made it to League Two promotion, finished second.
Okay, let's run through the squad. Top appearance is going to be Jonathan Mitchell with 60. He had to assist somehow. 16 clean sheets. Top goal scorer is going to be George Miller with 18. Followed by Rio Griffiths with 15. And then Aiden Barlow with 14. Top assists go to Charlie Webster. A lone player. I'm hopefully going to make his loan spell permanent. I think he's been a great addition to the club. So I think we're going to need him next year. Jonathan Mitchell with 16 clean sheets. And Tom Anderson finishing second with 13. Tied with Roshan Williams, who also finished with 13. So, with that being said, there really isn't too much for me to show you guys. So, if you guys have any suggestions on transfer targets, who I should sign, who I should try to bring in on loans, just leave them in the comments. I'll happily take a look at them. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this first season of my FIFA 23 Road to Glory, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.